fantastic game and a fantastic victory. Oh, it was now, yeah. Long time in coming, I suppose. Um, we always said that Nicaragua was our target. Um, nothing more here today now, I must mean, but we're very, very pleased with the guys' performance. We used 22 men or 23 men there today, coming in with extra time as well. I think we responded brilliantly. In the first half, when we conceded a soft enough goal, we came back tremendously well. In the second half, when we lost uh, Barney, a game of 14 men, we battled for 25 minutes nearly with 14 men. So we, we played tremendous stuff. And then once we were fresher, once we got going, our fitness told. And to rack up a score that we scored today, 426, with some scoring. And as I said to you, during the league, that points was the big issue of getting high scoring points on the board. And the goals came today, and the goals opened up for us. Um, we were a bit disappointed in some of the, the mistakes that were made. But we'd work on that, the lads know that, and we work on that. This London team's not finished. We'll see them again, no doubt, at the later stage. You said um, there that um, there's a team game. You were saying to your players at the end it was very much a team victory. And there's no, I suppose, no individual stars, but some fantastic performances. Oh, tremendous! From, from the full back line, right the whole way up, everybody added, everybody had a part to play, everybody put a hook or a block or a flick in, I got a score, and it was very much a team effort. And we knew arriving here in Cross McGlen today that the attitude of the players was very much a work ethic. And this Armad team really came of age today. London, we have been on the bad side of a couple of losses over the years, but to put nine points against them, with having lost a man and conceding two soft goals, is a massive, massive victory for us. And um, I suppose maybe London were a bit distracted with the Ulster Championship as well this this week, but we're delighted. We'll take the, we'll take the victory and move on. Now heading towards the next round, how far do you see yourselves going? Well, our aspiration has always been to qualify for the Nicky Rackard final, and. Uh, we, we see no difference to that. That was a tough game today. We'll have to regroup from that, see what our knocks are. We have a couple of boys coming back of injury as well, so things are shaping up for us rightly. And, uh, you know, with a bit of, hard, a bit, a bit of luck and a bit of hard work, um, we, we, we'll see ourselves progress, hopefully, into the final. Yes, it's a great impetus now for the Miners playing tomorrow. Absolutely. This was a tremendous weekend and a major weekend for, for Armagh Hurland. Um, young Simon Doherty is our reserve keeper here and he didn't strip today but he was with us here and we were looking for an inspirational issue at, at the end of the, 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 the full time whistle there when we went into extra time and we used the miners as that major so I mean we're delighted to have Simon here to use that as a driving factor and we, I really personally want to wish them all the best tomorrow and I know the team will be there um, with them tomorrow supporting them fully and it would be tremendous for Armagh Hurland to get into an Ulster final.